What are the treatment modalities available to a diabetic patient with a kidney failure? There are predominantly there are three methods which are which are available to a patient with a diabetes and kidney failure. In fact, all the patients would have these three only. The diabetic patients are different from other people because not just the kidney alone, there are so many other organs also will be involved, especially the eyes, more important the heart and the blood vessels, the nose also as well as the brain. When these other organs are also involved, it is very difficult for the patients with the diabetes to sustain on dialysis therapy as well as the transplant. So not every patient of kidney failure with diabetes will be eligible to get transplanted. So they should be screened properly. But every patient can go for dialysis, but they will be very, very difficult even on dialysis program. That's why there are two modalities. One is hemodialysis, second one is peritoneal dialysis. Most of the patients, by the time they de develop a kidney failure, they also would develop heart failure. Invariably, these patients would require peritoneal dialysis. But otherwise, patients on hemodialysis should be thoroughly screened and should be evaluated regularly for the cardiac disease. Patient of transplantation, they should be screened. If they are fit, by all other means, if they are otherwise very good, then only they can go for kidney transplantation. But invariably, patient who is more than 55 years, patient having a coronary artery disease, patient with eye disease, they better not to go for kidney transplantation. Mm -hmm.